What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today we are going to be hopping behind the wheel of the big body Mercedes baby. That's right, this is a 2015 Mercedes Benz AMG GT and uh, I don't know I've always liked the styling of cars like this like I, the, the coupes that have the long hood I just I think they're kind of cool whether it's this or the the Viper or the Ferrari you know FF or 812 or you know anything else like I just I, I, I like the styling of, uh, of vehicles like this so I'm excited to see what we could do. So performance wise you guys could see we're starting off with a 456 horsepower 4 liter V8 engine which is uh, is pretty solid. I'm going to say let's let's upgrade some parts. I don't think we're going to engine swap because I've got a feeling this thing's going to sound pretty cool, but uh, if we do upgrade the parts, we should be able to get to uh to around 1000 horsepower, a little bit over 1000 horsepower. So that should uh that should make it pretty fun. Anytime you get in the 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 quadruple digits, that's pretty solid. All right, here we go. So we ended up around level 388, which is uh, is interesting. Didn't quite make it to 400, but it's still going to be pretty uh, pretty lethal, pretty competitive out there. And so you guys can see 7.9 power, 8.2 high speed, 9.4 acceleration. I think it's around like 2.2 seconds or something like that. So I mean, overall, this thing is is going to be a beast. I'm really excited for it. So I actually I, I really don't mind the the gold color that we have on here right now. But let's check out what the community's got going on for us. Looks like we've got kind of like a a forest green here. We've got a, uh, a matte black with a yellow stripe. We've got gray with the yellow stripe. We've got another type of gold here. We've got a, a kind of a matte gray. It's actually got more of like a satin gray to it. We've got a police livery here. Eh, kind of ugly. To be honest, I mean, the, the orange here doesn't look bad. The orange definitely doesn't look bad once it loads in all the way. That that could be kind of cool. But to be honest, I'm not really... Ooh, the purple's nice. The color changing purple. Or this is actually what I was going to go for. I just... I love the candy apple green on this thing. I think it's kind of like the, the traditional, like main color for it that the the marketing and all that kind of you know chose for it that's what they had in all their ads and stuff and it was like the main color they made it with but uh, i feel like it looks really really good so we're gonna rock with this i like what we've got so far and uh, let's head into some body mods so we've got a mansory kit or we've got a speed hunters kit i like i like carbon fiber so i think we're gonna go with the mansory kit here we'll see what happens looks like we've got this hood or the mansory hood Ooh, see that's actually kind of tough the prior design hood looks pretty good. I kind of want to keep the green on there. Let's see uh, Let's see what other stuff we're working with. So we've got a Mansory splitter up there. We've got a second Mansory splitter. I'm going to go with the second one. Looks pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and do that. I don't think we're going to be able to... I don't think we're going to be able to put canards on here as, as it is there. Actually, the prior design ones down the corner might work. But having them up, up near the headlight was a little bit too much happening. We've got a prior design kit or a mansory kit. Ooh, dude. See, the thing is, is I really like the V8 bi-turbo badging on the side there. I'm kind of tempted to go for the prior design look. Let me see what our rear our rear fenders look like. Ooh, you want me to be honest? Hold on, let's, let's see our side skirts here. We've got prior design or mansory. Dude, this is tough. I'm going to go mansory on the side skirts, but I think I like the prior design arches and fenders better. So we're gonna go with uh, with kind of a kind of a mixed bag of treats here. But uh, that's that's looking pretty good so far. Do we want to smoke the headlights? I guess we do quite a bit, but I feel like that looks pretty good. Do we actually? I mean, we could go with like a yellow. Yellow's not bad with the green. Kind of make like a, a bit of a sprite thing going on here. So that doesn't look too bad. Do we want the carbon fiber hood? I don't think so, dude. I think it I think it looks good. Looks good without it. So we've got all kinds of options there. I think I'm gonna leave the stock one looking pretty good. And let's get into the rear of the vehicle. So um, definitely gonna smoke these things out. Feel like that that looks looks pretty solid there. Rear bumper, we've got a Mercedes Benz option, which doesn't do a whole lot, kind of protrudes a little bit more down towards the bottom, or we've got a Mansory option. Mansory option looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Do we have diffuser options? We've got a bunch of carbon diffusers, but these are just kind of like the normal ones. I don't think it's necessary. I think that goes a little bit too crazy. For uh, for some exhaust, we've got Mansory exhaust. Interesting. Um, I guess we could go with the Mansory exhaust. It kind of 
kind of fit the, the rest of the rear bumper there. No option for rear canards. Let me see what we've got for a spoiler. So I think this is a pneumatic spoiler right now. It'll kind of raise and lower depending on how hard you're braking or how fast you're going. But we've got some other options here. Prior design, or we've got some some big boys in here. I actually kind of like the Mansory one, dude. This really is a mixed bag. I like, uh, I like, ooh, shoot, I don't want to do that. I like what we're working with so far. So um, for this, I'm going to say, uh, ooh, I know. I don't know how to spell it, though. Pino... Pinocchio? Is that how... Pin Pinocchio? Like Pinocchio? Because he's got a long nose? I, is that how you, you spell it? I'm honestly not sure. So we're just... We're going to rock with that for now. I don't think we have any green backgrounds, unfortunately. Yeah, that's kind of not good. So we're going to go with the, the plain, plain black and white. I wish you could remove the license plate if you didn't want it. Would be uh, would be kind of nice. So, uh, all right. From a, uh, a body perspective, I think this thing is looking pretty mean, dude. I mean... I don't know that I love the yellow headlights, but I think I'm going to leave it just to kind of give it a little bit more character. I kind of, to be honest, I really kind of like the, the plain headlights. I think I'm going to leave the plain headlights on there. For the rims, I actually don't mind what we're currently working with. Let me see. I mean, I don't think we're going to have any green calipers. We could go with yellow calipers might look kind of nice. We could also go for red. I think I'm going to go with the first set of Stop Tech yellows. I do think I am going to put some some Toyo tires on there just to give it a, a little a little bit more style. You guys know I'm a fan of the big block Toyo tires. And then we might end up changing the color of the rims a little bit. So I'm thinking we go, let's do carbon on the inside. Maybe like a forged carbon could be kind of cool. And then on the secondary paint, I mean, it honestly looks, it looks pretty cool as is. We could do another forged carbon, but in white. Might look kind of interesting. Oh shoot, we probably want to apply that to all rims, huh? Coming into effects here, nitrous color. We're going to go with the green nitrous. Yes, sir. Got to love when that matches up so nicely. Of course, we are going to be going for that, uh, the green underglow. I think it's, I think we have a lime. Oh no, we've got a solid green too, or we've got a mint, but I'm going to go with the green. I feel like that probably matches the best there. We're not going to put an air suspension on there. We can lower it a little bit. You know, we've got some pretty big wheel wells to fill now and uh, exhaust sounds. Little more, little more aggressive and raw, but overall that that looks pretty good right there. All right, bam! There you guys have it. That is our brand new Mercedes-Benz AMG GT, dude. This thing, I mean, it's it's mean. It's clean. It's a green machine. Let's get it out there. Dude, this thing looks so much better out in the sunlight. Oh my goodness, I love it. The one thing I don't really like, and and you see this on like Mansory kits and and Brabus kits and stuff like that, is they really kind of debadge the original car and they put the big M up front there. I'd rather have the Mercedes logo, to be honest. I mean, I, I feel like the Mercedes logo kind of carries a uh, a bit more bit more weight than Mansory does. No offense to Mansory, they do make some cool kits, but. Um, I mean, if it was mine personally, I probably wouldn't have taken that out, but I guess we can't complain because this thing ended up being uh, being pretty bad. So we're going to head over here to this time trial. This is one that uh, I think we've done before, but we haven't actually beat yet. We haven't beat their time, so we're going to see if we can beat that, kind of get a feel for it, see what this car is all about. And uh, here we go, old Pinocchio. Let's get it, baby. Dude, this thing is so clean. I love it. Seriously. Gonna be racing against the Lamborghini Huracan Spider. Now, if I remember this correctly, dude, this thing was a beat. We might have to come back to this challenge and do it with like a maxed out level 400 plus car. Cause I remember him just absolutely dominating us in whatever car we had. Oh, shoot. Woo. Okay. Or we might stand a chance here. I, I, I forgot it was the one that had like all the, the little challenges and, and things you had to avoid in it and stuff like that. I can hear him tight in our, our backside right now. Ooh, that doesn't sound right. Sorry. Uh, close, close your ears to all the small children out there. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on, baby. I really didn't even mean to make that, <laughs> make that innuendo. It just, just, it came out, dude. You know what I mean? Like sometimes it just, you say something you don't, you don't mean, so. Here we go, come on. 
Dude, this thing feels pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie. It sounds good, it looks great, it's handling fantastic. I mean, I, I feel like we've kinda got a bit of a drip build going on and we aren't even, we aren't even on the right setup, the right differential, the right tires or anything like that. Looks like we're gonna have two laps. So far, we're off to a pretty good start. Whew. Dude, this is clean. We're starting to pull away from him a little bit. Old dude finally met his maker, huh? I, I can't, rem I don't remember what our last car we did this in was. I remember it wasn't one that we, uh, we had upgraded all the way. And technically we didn't even upgrade this one all the way, but obviously this one worked a little bit better. Dude, we're even keeping our same line from the last, the last round, like cutting through the same barricades. This is clean. Your boy put in put in some work here. This is what you love to see. Oh shoot! I saw the open barricades there. I thought <laughs> I thought that's where we were going, but no, we don't want to go that way. It looks like we are going to be able to beat this guy, so we might have to come back and do this one again in the future. And we'll uh, well, what's it called? We'll see if we can beat our own time. We'll just race against the clock for us. Bam! That's what I'm talking about, dude. Straight demolish the competition. This thing feels great. It's in kind of a weird spot at level 388. I feel like uh, there aren't too many level 380 races or 390. It's usually 400 or, or 350, so we'll see what we can find. Yeah, dude, I'm looking through here. Like, there's a, a 350 there. There's a 300. There's a 260, 350. That's a drift one. 280, 330. I just want to make sure whatever we do, it's going to be competitive. And this is this is just a really, it's a really odd level to race at, unfortunately. We found it, a ray of light, baby. In the, the dark, dark night. That's actually what the, uh, the, the race is called, is a ray of light. So this is a level 380 race. And uh, we're level 388. So obviously we're going to be a little over leveled for it, but that's all right. We're going to put some work in and then I think after this one we'll take it underground, see what this thing looks like at night and probably race one where we're a little under leveled. But uh, since we're, we're eight levels higher here, which honestly is not that much, what I'm going to do is let's see if we can win this thing without using any nitrous. And it actually, it kind of looks like we're, we're doing pretty well so far. Dude, eight levels should not be this big of a difference. Look at this. Mercedes versus Porsche, who's going to win on the straight? Looks like we've got the uh, the advantage. Oh, no, he's starting to pull ahead, but we've got the inside here. He's going to back off. Okay. I meant to I meant to hit my e-brake a little bit and then start the slide. We just dug in there. Interesting. We do have track tires on, whereas oftentimes we do more of a an on-road setup, so that might be why. All right, we got our, our work cut out for us, fellas. That's what I like to see. We've got three laps here. First one's just about done, and we're going to have to catch up to this guy. Beautiful work there. Coming in hot. This corner should be a good one for us. Let's see if we can get a nice pass through the through the corner. Woo! Oh, we hit the things. No, dude, that would have been so clean. Are you kidding me? All right, we're just going to have to come through and, and do it on a second pass then. Here we go. Dude, this thing looks so nice. I love that hood. I feel like, you know, from a, a body perspective, I feel like we killed this thing. I feel like we could have put any color on here and it would have looked really, really good. Um, if anything, maybe... Oh! Okay. Just shut the door on us. Completely came over into our line. He had to... He was supposed to choose, man. We're gonna have to take a look at that one. The Skybox or whatever it's called in F1. But, um... I feel like if anything, the the wing is a little a little ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. May, maybe not quite in my taste, but uh, everything else everything else looks pretty good. Here we go. Come on. We had a good exit out of that quarter there. Really started hammering down, getting that that power down through the tires onto the street. And here we go. We are gonna come flying around this corner. Ooh. I want the outside so we can kind of come back across inside. Give him a taste of his own medicine, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And your boy ain't even using his nitrous. Ooh, shoot. Taking out half the barriers there, so there's nothing left to hit, I guess. 
Sounds good to me, and uh, it's looking like we're home free, dude. Feeling, feeling pretty good. I think our little bump back there did a little bit more than we meant. I was just trying to get him back for what he did earlier to us, so. Yeah, dude, this thing is a, uh, it's a beast. I'm surprised, I mean, no nitrous or anything. Even though we're eight levels ahead, like, that's, that's minuscule. That's, you know, less than a percent, so. Um, I guess a little over a percent. But still. It shouldn't make this much of a difference. We are straight slaying these guys. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. We're going to take this beast. Ooh, I don't like that corner. That corner is not doing well for us. We're going to take this beast down into the underground. We're going to see what she looks like at night. We're going to put her up against some tougher competition. And uh, we'll see if we can get it done. I just, dude, I love the green. Like, looking at the, the sun washing over these fields. We've got this beautiful green Mercedes just flying through the countryside. This is, uh, this is... This is pretty sweet if you ask me, but we are on our way to a level 400 race. We're going to be taking it to the lightning, baby, and uh, we're going to see what we can do. I found a 380 race at nighttime, but uh, I, I wanted a, a bit more of a challenge, so we're going to swap things over here, and old Pinocchi is, uh, is going to get the job done. Lightning sprint race. Oh, those, those green neons, dude. Look pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Green's a color you just don't really see on cars a lot. I think that's why I like it so much. You always see blacks and whites and silvers and red, blue, yellow, that sort of thing. I feel like green is just a little underappreciated. I'd be interested to know what the actual, you know, how, how colors of all cars or maybe even just taking a look at supercars, because you probably see a little bit more green in supercars and stuff, but like what, how it's, how it's divvied up, what the most common colors are and, you know, kind of what, what truly is not very, very popular. Here we go. Come on, get through here. Dude, I'm, I'm cutting corners. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get this win. Looks like first place just ran into somebody back there. So that's going to help us out big time. Give them a little love tap as we go by, as we slide into this corner. I just, I feel like we've got so much control with this car, dude. It's got the right amount of speed. Maybe a little bit slower than these guys, but I think because it's more controllable, we're going to end up being faster overall. Be careful there. I was looking on the mini-map if there was anywhere to be able to use our uh, our nitrous, which it looks like this might be a good spot here. Just got to keep an eye out. Always know what's coming next, but also watch the road. For oncoming traffic and stuff. Looking pretty good so far. Doesn't really look like we've got too much of a police presence currently. I think we're going to have to... Uh, we haven't done it in a while. We're going to have to do like a, a big police episode soon. So we'll grab one of the, the supercars that we have left. And, you know, kind of focus on, on getting in high heat races. And stirring up the pot a little bit. But, uh, dude, even with the, the horsepower and speed disadvantage here... The old Merc is laying down the law. Looking pretty good. I mean, these guys aren't too far away. They're definitely still in contention. If we were to mess something up here, we probably don't need to use our nitrous, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on sending it like we do. We've got a couple of corners coming up and uh, that's gonna be it. We always hit the car that's parked in this parking lot. So this time I'm gonna make sure we take it a little bit wide. Starting to kind of know these tracks like the back of our hand, and uh, I think through here is just kind of the main main nitrous territory, so we're just going to blow through all of it there at the end, and uh, bam! There it is, fellas. Good win. So, this is a good build. Super clean. Felt good. You know, not, not the fastest vehicle that we have in this game. Not the prettiest. I'd, I'd say it's up there. It's definitely one of the prettier ones, but it's definitely, I mean, performance-wise, it just, it, it was solid. It was kind of a, a jack-of-all-trades. Did everything pretty well. So, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm going to see you guys in our next one. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll catch you all later. Peace out.